Hi there, this is The Biz Lounge. I'm Mark. The FTSE 100 kicking off the week to the upside. Earlier it was up about a third of a percent at 7.375. My stock in focus today is FTSE 250 construction and support services firm Carillion. Oh dear. It's been having a really tough time lately and today it's issued another profits warning saying that difficult market conditions are really affecting revenue which is now likely to come in below the £5 billion mark for the full year. It's also having to set aside £845 million to cover problems with existing contracts and it's taken some drastic measures which include suspending the dividend for the year. Uh, this is going to be very disappointing for shareholders. I'm one of them. Carillion has been one of the well, better yielding firms on the London market. It's also undertaking a massive review of the business, it says, and also it's going to look at the capital structure, which means that borrowings are likely to increase. Now, on top of all that, the company says it's going to exit from construction public private partnership projects. It's also pulling out of some foreign markets like Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. And to be honest, it's really not a great situation for the company. But the market's been sensing this bearishness for some months and at least the company is now taking action. Carillion also, therefore, the focus of my big boss spotlight today because as with any company facing such challenging times, Richard Housen, the chief executive, has fallen on his sword and stepped down from the helm with immediate effect. Now, Carillion says that Housen is going to stay on the board for another 12 months to help with the transition to a new chief executive. In the meantime, non-executive board member Keith Cochran will take over while the company looks for that new boss. The strategy now, well, the company says it's only going to undertake future construction work on a highly selective basis and by lower risk procurement routes. The shares, well, they were down 21% so far this year until this morning. They've now really plummeted today, again, down 38% earlier at £1.20. I suspect this may be slightly overdone, but not a great situation for any shareholders. I used to like Carillion mainly for the dividend. Now that it's been suspended, I really can't imagine why anyone wants to hold on to it, at least not for now. Well, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.